Today I will show you how to add and edit keyframes using the keyframe panel. First select the clip and open the keyframe panel. For now it is empty because we haven't added any keyframes, so go to the point where you want the zoom to start, for example at 1 second, and add the scale and the position keyframe. The first two keyframes on the keyframe panel belong to the scale values, and the bottom two belong to the position values. You can also see where you place the keyframe on the timeline. Next, let's move 3 seconds forward, so at 4 seconds. That's how long I want the zoom in to last. And add the scale and the position keyframe again. Let's zoom in by increasing the scale, 140 will be enough. And fix the position of the car. Lower the X value to move to the right. And increase the Y value to move down. Now you have a simple zoom in. Let's go back to the start and play the video. As you can see the movement was linear, you can also tell that by the straight lines on the keyframe panel. To make it smoother select the first group of keyframes and add the ease out animation. This will make the zoom start slower. Then select the second group of keyframes and add the ease in animation. Go back to the start again and the zoom will be way smoother. Let's say you want to zoom back out. Move 2 seconds from the last keyframe, so at 6 seconds, and add a new scale and position keyframe. Don't change their values because we want the clip to stay zoomed in from 4 to 6 seconds. Move forward 3 more seconds, so at 9 seconds, change the position back to 0, and lower the scale to around 110%. Select the keyframes where the zoom out starts, apply the ease out animation, and select the last group of keyframes. For them apply the ease in animation. Go back to the start and this is the final result. For more tips and tricks make sure to watch this other video and if you want to support the channel make sure to become a member, which I would really appreciate.